welcome back to my channel it's marina here and i am so pumped as usual to come to you in another video if it's your first time here you're welcome my name is marina i make videos from saskatoon in canada where i share about life issues and my experiences as a nigerian immigrant in canada please do well to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you know every time i upload a new video to the new subscribers who have joined our community recently i see you thank you very much for joining our family and to the returning subscribers thank you once again for coming back to constantly watch my videos in today's video guys i'm going to be sharing with you um, essential tips on surviving winter yes it is that time of year it is winter once again and i know i have a number of subscribers at least from the ones who have reached out who landed in canada this year and you're right now experiencing your first winter it will be a shocker it's a bit of an adjustment and i thought today i could sit here and just share with you guys tips that have worked for me on how i survived winter tips that are recommended things that you should know should have to help you get through the next couple of months so if this is something that you'd like to learn about you know what to do definitely keep watching In today's video i'm not going to focus on what to wear because that's a huge part of surviving winter getting the appropriate winter gear luckily for you i have a full video that i made sometime earlier in the year talking about what to wear for winter with everything that is recommended for you to wear to stay warm and safe i'm going to link that video on the screen and in the description box below so do, please do want to check it out to see the appropriate winter gear that you want to make sure you have especially in the prairies in that video guys i did mention something about a head and a neck warmer set that i had just gotten and it was absolutely recommended well it was the head and the neck warmer is from a brand called jopi collection the brand actually saw that video and they reached out to me and were gracious enough to send me more pairs of the head and the neck warmer you guys i have had a number of head warmers i've had a number of neck scarves neck warmers from the dollarama brands to the higher end brands and guys this one by jopi collection is hands down my favorite i'm not just saying that because the brand sent it to me after all i talked about it before they even sent it to me okay this this brand is a comp this head and neck warmer is a complete must have it looks really really stylish and the material that's inside you guys it keeps the area that is covering so warm this material inside is so comfortable so comfortable no irritation when i wear this especially the neck warmer it keeps my neck so warm my head the same thing if you know anything about winter the head the hands the feet the neck are very common entry points for cold you want to make sure that you keep those parts covered and really well secure at all times and this is going to get the job done this head and neck warmer 100 percent recommended absolute must have thank you very much jopi collection for sending this um to us um i'm going to leave their instagram handle and their website in the description box guys please do well to check them out if you're on instagram please go and follow their page go and follow them and say hello to them say marina said to say hi okay so you have, you have come to say hello if you're in a country where you experience winter please consider ordering this neck and head warmer set it is a perfect um christmas present you want to consider sending this to your loved one i don't know anybody who's going to say no to a collection like this so please consider adding it to your holiday hamper this year let's go support this brand okay at the end of this video one lucky saskatoon subscriber is going to have one of these pairs hand delivered to them yes i am going to bring it to you myself okay so stick around to the end of the video to know who that person to know who the lucky subscriber is going to be I'm now going to dive right into um, the essentials what you need to survive the next couple of months well the first thing that I would recommend for anybody especially if this is your first winter the first thing that I recommend for you to have is a mobile weather app guys as as simple and almost as irrelevant as it sound a weather app can be your lifesaver because the weather app will show you what is expected for the next couple of days for the next couple of weeks you want to make sure you have one of these and you are checking it on a daily basis it will help you to know what to wear it will help you to know whether you should even go out or not sometimes when it's a blizzard that's not the time you want to rush to the store to go and get one or two things if you already know that there's going to be a blizzard then maybe that's a good day to stay at home 
right so you want to make sure you have one of these the one that i use is the mobile app for the weather network there are other ones there's the accuweather that predict these things very accurately so you want to make sure you have one at least and check it on a regular basis okay that's the first thing that i recommend the next thing that you need is a winter home emergency kit guys Winter can come with all sorts of things. It can be unpredictable. Sometimes when there's a storm, power can go out. I heard recently that in Ontario, they had like a power outage because of winter and it lasted for up to nine hours in some places. Can you imagine how it would be without power for nine hours in minus 20 degree temperature? It can be a lot. It can be hard to manage that. If you have to go for nine hours without your cooker coming on, without your microwave coming on, without your garage door opening, away from internet, if your Wi-Fi shuts down, if it's connected to the electricity, can you imagine, would you have what you need to sustain that period of time? That's what you want to consider including in your emergency kit. So in, in your emergency kit, you want to make sure you have food, preferably food that does not need electricity to cook. If it's food that you can eat straight out of a box, maybe like cheap bags of chips or popcorn, energy bars, you want to consider having like a supply of those at home you want to also consider having bottled water if for some reason the water shuts out and your tap can open you will have water to drink at least you want to make sure you have that in your house you also want to make sure you have a supply of flashlights of batteries of lighters or candle or something that's going to create extra illumination if the power goes out and it is dark you want to make sure you have those absolutely absolutely important then you want to make sure you have really warm blankets yes we have the duvet the bed covers but you want to make sure you have an extra supply of blankets in your house just in case you need it you also want to make sure you have like a first aid kit it is recommended for every home to have a first aid kit regardless of winter but in winter the need is emphasized so you want to make sure you have um, a first aid kit at home winter is a good time to consider bulk buying so if that's not something you do normally you buy the things on a weekly basis as you go you might want to consider bulking up you might want to consider buying more things in bulk just so that you reduce your the number of trips you make to the grocery stores you reduce the number of times that you are on the road because every time you're on the road it is a bit risky for winter not just for you but even the other drivers because you can be on your own and somebody will skid and come and hit your car but if you're not on the road the chance that that will happen is reduced so you want to consider bulk buying buy the things your essentials for instance if you have babies you want to make sure you always have extra supply of maybe like baby formula or diapers or the things that your children need generally if you as an adult you can go without food or you can do with hunger for nine hours but can you imagine what will happen if a baby needs formula and they don't have it and it's a blizzard outside your garage won't open you can't go out it's going to be a lot so you want to make sure that you have an extra supply of the essentials that you need especially if you have children absolutely absolutely important if you have a car you drive you are also going to need an emergency kit for your car as well for the same reasons you just never know where you're going to get stuck you just don't know where your car is going to stop you don't know where you can skid into a ditch because it happens <laughs> right for your um, car essentials, you want to make sure, again, you have food, energy bars, chips, and things like that. You also want to make sure you have water stored in containers that will not explode if it freezes. You just want to make sure there's always water in the car. You also want to make sure that you have like something to remove snow, like a snow brush, a frost scraper from your windshield, from your mirrors, and things like that. Because you never know, you might drive to work, park outside, before you come out at the end of the day, your car is covered with snow. You need to be able to see before you can drive so you need that um something for snow removal you also absolutely need a shovel you need a shovel or uh some people recommend like have like a small bag of rocks some people say have cat litter some people say you can have the special kind of salt that melts snow you should have one or two of these in your car all the time we had a snowstorm recently and from the part of the house where i have like my home office it faces a window so i could see the road and guys i cannot count how many cars i saw that got stuck in the snow just couldn't move the tires were spinning in the same place because the roads were really the road condition was horrible like cars were stuck in the snow the ones that could now eventually reach the ground they were rolling on ice the road was icy was complete mess at some point guys my husband and i had to deck up take our shovel go outside to go and help people 
shovel the snow on the road so that they could even move. If those people had shovels in their car, they probably would have been able to provide some kind of help for themselves before help got to them. So you want to make sure you have a shovel in your car. You want to make sure you have those, um, the stones, the sand, cat litter or salt, just something to create some kind of friction between your car tires and the road to help you move. You just never know when that is going to be a lifesaver, guys. Absolutely important. Okay, make sure you have that. You also want to make sure you have if for some reason the car skids and some assaults you want to make sure you have a um something that can cut seat belts something that you can use to cut a seat belt inside the car it is advisable that you have a first aid kit in the car as well you want a small blade or a small scissors something that you can easily reach that can you can use to cut the seat belt and come out to safety it is advisable all of this is not to scare you it's just to prepare you for the possibilities that winter can come with okay you want to make sure you have that you also want to consider having like jumper cables or tow ropes in your car for the same reason you don't know when your car is going to go off and you will need if somebody else is going to start the car for using their own batteries, you want to make sure you have what you need to make that happen. Same thing with tow ropes. If you skid into a ditch or something happens, somebody is trying to help you, you need something. Or you might be the one in the position to help somebody else come out of a ditch. And those things come in handy. Those things can be lifesavers. You also need extra blankets and flashlights in the car. I cannot emphasize this extra blankets enough, guys. So sometime last year, my husband, my kids and I were in the car, we were going somewhere and suddenly the caution lights in the car started to come on and the car started slowing down and we were able to get it away from um, the busy traffic to the side of the road and this car just won't come on. Guys, it was winter. If not that we had extra blankets in the car i don't know what would have happened because you don't know you don't know where you're going to need that kind of help imagine that you are on the road and in winter like that it takes a longer time for two vehicles to get to you because the demand is always higher there are always more than usual calls for people who need help getting towed so sometimes if it takes you maybe like 30 minutes to get a uh, a tow truck to you in winter it can take an hour it can take up to two hours if you're going to have to sit inside that car for two hours waiting for help to come to you are you going to be warm enough the car has stopped which means that your heating is gone that's why you need extra blankets in the car guys very very important if you did not hear anything i said here today extra blanket to keep you warm hypothermia is a bad thing guys let's not joke with this this is not the time to say ah, is it not just cold we'll do it people have died People have died from not being appropriately um, prepared for winter. So please make sure you have these extra blankets in your car to keep you safe, okay? Some people advise that you have a whistle. If, you, if you're ever in a position where something has happened and you need to call for attention, it is advised that you have a whistle. I have never really had a whistle in my car. Thank goodness I've never had to need it. But this year, I'm seriously considering adding a whistle to my car emergency kit, okay? Guys, like I said, these things are not to scare you, it's just to get you prepared. Winter driving is completely different from what you would have known. If it takes you 10 seconds to slam on your brake and the car comes to a complete stop, for winter you want to prepare to do, you want to prepare to do that in 20 seconds. Everything takes double the time. You're going to have to drive slower. You're going to have to leave more space between your car and the car in front of you just to give you enough time to react if anything happens, right? Because not just you, the car in front of you can skid. The car beside you can skid. The car behind you can skid. Give enough space to give you time to take action if anything is going to happen like that, okay? Winter is not the time for you to drive in a hurry. If you know that you have to be somewhere at one o'clock, don't leave your house at 12 55 because you want to do a five minutes journey that's supposed to take you 15 minutes wrong timing there's no james bond in winter you will just james bond yourself right into a ditch or skid off the bridge it has happened so please um drive appropriately drive carefully drive there's no nobody's going to kill you for going too slow well yes you can get a ticket for going too slow but you want to make sure that you're driving safely there are a lot of accidents that happen during winter and from what we hear on tv the reason why people have those accidents is not because of the weather it is the failure to adjust to prevailing conditions is why people have those accidents winter is not a surprise we all know that winter happens every year if you do not make the necessary adjustments to make sure you're driving considering the prevailing conditions then of course you'll be more prone to an accident and that's not what we want okay i want everybody to be safe i want us all to be safe that's why i'm sharing this information with you and it is in no way intended to scare you okay 
one last thing that i'm going to suggest that everybody absolutely needs is vitamin d supplements so one thing that really happens in winter is that there are reduced hours of sunlight in the day in summer the sun can rise as early as 5 a.m or even earlier and stay up until like 9 p.m sometimes later in winter it is the reverse the sun doesn't come out until like 8 39 a.m in some cases so you can be going to work at 8 30 and it is dark by the time it's time for you to come back from work at 5 p.m it's already dark so that reduced number of reduced um sunshine reduced hours of sunlight in the day can affect people negatively can be a bit of a drag those supplements are going to help you keep your energy levels up fight infections uh, and make up for the reduced sunlight that you don't get in a day because of winter there's something that is called seasonal affective disorder it's a kind of depression that is brought about by winter it is depression that is associated with winter guys it is hard it is hard it's called winter blues october blues they have different names but that can be hard where your energy levels are a drag it is hard to get out of bed you're just angry you're moody you're tired it has happened to me once and guys it's not funny okay it's not funny for that you want to make sure you're taking those supplements and you want to try to incorporate some physical activity into your routine if you have to do um physical activity classes online or just look for something to that you enjoy something that you can do safely something for fun that you can do indoors make sure you're doing something that keeps your blood pumping make sure you're doing something that keeps your energy levels up because i mean I don't know there's no there's no way around it okay winter is here to stay it's not something that we can wish away it's not something that we can suck about because i mean five months to six months in a year is a long time to suck about something you knew was coming so find a way to make winter fun if there are things that you can do safely especially given this our new normal normally there will be outdoor skiing places where you can take your sled and go and slide down snow hills but now with all the restrictions everywhere we don't know what the um, limitations are going to be so you want to make sure that you're trying to do something fun something that you enjoy if you live alone look for friends that you can do things with safely look for activities that you can do just to keep your your energy levels going and your blood pumping okay five to six months of a year like i said it's a long time to just sit down there and be miserable you can't wish it away it's here to stay you are the one that will now make the adjustment to adjust to winter okay so i just thought i could share this with you guys today make sure you stay hydrated as hydrated as you can winter saps the moisture out of everything if you have hair this is a good time to consider protective hairstyles drink water drink water you don't want to look dry and scaly because that's a thing that can happen as well in all of this guys i want all of us to be safe and all of us to get through winter together okay i hope you have enjoyed this video guys um if you did please give it a thumbs up if there's something you have learned from this please leave it in the comment section if you have any questions leave it in the comment section and i'll be glad to respond to it okay so like i said in the beginning of this video one lucky saskatoon subscriber is going to be winning one pair of this head and neck warmer by jopi collection and the subscriber that i'm picking today is somebody who i don't know her i haven't met her yet every week she's giving me feedback on my videos just leaving really valuable feedback and i appreciate people like this i don't take the support for granted at all so i've decided today that i'm going to be giving out this head and neck warmer set to you oge tk okonkwo thank you very much for your support oge i don't take it for granted at all i am going to be hand delivering this to you in a safe way of course thank you very much for your support thank you for supporting my channel and for every other person who has constantly supported me Thank you. Thank you very much. Guys, once again, please don't forget to check out Jopi Collection on Instagram and check out their website. This is a perfect holiday present. Guys, these things have to sell out. Let's go and show them how it's done. Okay? So please don't forget, follow them on Instagram. Go and say hello. Order. Send this out to your friends and to your loved ones. It is a perfect holiday present. Well, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I hope you learned a thing or two from it. I hope you are now going to add something to your kit to keep you safe and to get you through the next couple of months that is winter thank you very much for watching this video and until i come your way in my next video it is marina saying thank you and have an awesome day bye guys